All right, to bisect our angle, we're going to open up our compass to any old length we want and draw an arc. And then from each of the end points that we just did, draw another arc and keeping the same length of the other end point, draw another arc. Kaboom! We are done after we connect those points. We have successfully bisected our angle. Now, check this out. We're done with bisecting an angle, but what if we connected these points, that point and the point you just got? What's nifty about this line here? Does it look parallel? It is. So another way to do parallel lines, before we learned how to do it by doing a, a congruent angle, you can also do it from bisecting an angle. So it's nothing new. So you're going to create your own transversal wherever you want. And you're going to here open it up to this same length, that point, that point. And go ahead and draw an arc. I'll try to be careful on this one. I've messed up so many times before. Draw an arc. And then from each of those endpoints, just like we did up there, draw two little tinier arcs there and there. And go ahead and connect, instead of connecting this point and that point to bisect the angle, connect that point and that point to make a parallel line. So you've now created parallel lines through that point. Awesome. Later on, what you'll see what you've also done is created a rhombus. If you connect all the points, that shape there is a rhombus. Now my <laughs> my diagrams are always slightly off. Again, the bigger the points are, and I'm looking at it from far away, so I'm not being super precise, but we've created it such that all of the sides should be the same. We, we never change the, the width of our compass, so all of these lengths are the same, and that's what makes a rhombus a rhombus. So many ideas for the price of one. Um, yeah, looking good.